Well, hello everybody. Doing my first semi hike today. My plan is to go a uh, total of eight miles, four miles up, four miles down. As you can see on the sky sign behind me, uh, the goal is to reach Skunk, the Skunk Hollow there, four miles up. Um, I've got as far as Cat Canyon and back before, but uh, today we're gonna be going all the way to Skunk Hollow. As you can see, we are on the Fremont Trail, uh, or Fremont National Recreation Trail 160. Um, I think most of us locally here just call it the Shewakan Trail or Shewakan Crossing. Uh, just went over the bridge over the Shewakan. Um, <clears throat> and so headed up the hill, uh, just me today uh, with my sidekick, Boone. Say hi, Boone. There's Boone. And uh, so just he and I today going out for a quick, uh, quick hike. So uh, invite you guys to come along with us. Beautiful country. I, uh, I actually prefer this over maybe timber. I know that it's different than some. They like the timber and the big trees. But ever since I was a kid, I have loved the uh, sagebrush and the uh, um, uh, juniper. You can see over here, um, let me do it right there. That unfortunately, last year, uh, two years ago, we had a horrible fire and burned quite a bit of our uh, Fremont, Wainema wilderness up here. And so that's unfortunate, but beyond that, you can see it's just a beautiful place. And uh, here's a trail and up there is where we're headed. So uh, let's keep moving. So uh, getting a little higher up here. Um, so heading into the junipers. These are uh, juniper trees. Um, they, uh, they have a great smell, at least I think so. Um, and so we're heading into this grove of uh, junipers. Again, you can see the sage and uh, some beautiful kind of high desert flowers there, purple. Um, and then you got yellows there as well and uh, just a lot of colors uh, around here uh, yellows and, and purples and, and greens so if you like and enjoy flowers my daughter is huge into that so if she's hiking with me we we have a, a lot of time that we stop and uh, kind of check that out but uh, yeah trails getting a little bit steeper 
heading up a little bit higher up. So, uh, yeah, stay with us. I love those uh, aspen groves that are all around right here. Um, I especially like them in the uh, in the in the fall, late summer, early fall. In that uh, they uh, they start changing colors and they are just gorgeous. Um, and uh, so. I love them here in the springtime when they're green and lush, and then they uh, offer such a a beautiful um, colors uh, when the when the leaves start falling. So, Well, I made it to the first uh, stop, our landmark, so to speak, on the, this part of the trail. Uh, if you can see behind me, the sign says Cat Canyon. And uh, I'll also be doing my first uh, water crossing here in a moment. Um, let's see, now, I think I can make it. I think I'll be able to do it. Um, first time I hiked up here, this is the farthest I've, I've hiked on this part of the trail. Um, I got here and I was like, oh, Cat Canyon, that's nice. And I started thinking about, why do they call it Cat Canyon? You know, and of course, quickly my mind went from domestic cats to what kind of cats would be out here. And then I went, you know what? I'm gonna turn around and go back. Uh, this time I'm a little more prepared in case of a encounter, I won't say how I'm prepared. Let's just say I'm prepared. Um, but uh, anyway, made it here two miles in about an hour. So uh, gonna take a bit of a rest here and then I'll keep moving. All right. Some may be wondering, you know, why am I, I hiking? And, uh, well, it was kind of a evolution of things. Um, first off, I'm a, I'm a big guy, so I need to find some type of exercise that I, I enjoy and I, I feel has purpose for me. I, I tried going to the gym for years and uh, just wasn't my thing. Um, you know, just did not get enjoyment from it. And so that, that didn't work. Um, but I've, I've always loved the outdoors, um, always. And I uh, love being out here, love camping. And uh, probably what, what started it was oh, probably a year or more ago, uh, I was watching a documentary on uh, free climbing and rock climbing. And uh, if you know me personally, you understand that heights um, are not my thing. I'm, I'm kind of a weird heights guy. Um, I don't know if you uh, can understand this, but you know, if, if I go up into a, a tower, a sky needle, you know, like Seattle or uh, San Antonio or something like that, I'm fine once I'm up there looking down. But when I uh, get on a ladder or uh, tried to go rappelling once, yeah, that, uh, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> Um, don't care for that 
And, uh, but as I was watching those videos, intrigued by those, those individuals, uh, those guys and ladies who, you know, with ropes or without ropes, go climbing up the sides of Yosemite, El Capitan, and, and different places. And I think it was, uh, I was watching YouTubes, like everybody else, and uh, it suggested, you know, uh, hiking videos. And so I thought, hey, I'll check it out, you know, interested in it. And so I uh, started watching hiking videos the last probably eight, nine months. And I thought, you know what? I need to exercise because I'm a diabetic. Um, but also, it would be something I probably would enjoy. As uh, Let me give you a quick example here. I'm going to spin the camera around. This is what you get to enjoy when you are hiking. And so um, I thought, you know, that's, that's something I probably could do. And one, it would be beneficial health-wise. Um, and plus, I'd probably enjoy it. And so I started watching videos. Um, watched uh, Dixie on Wonderlust, her channel. And watched her do the Appalachian Trail, the Pacific Coast Trail. Uh, watched some other documentaries. Um, uh, Dixie su suggested, and I watched uh, 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 Last Chance Hiker, who, uh, that's a great channel to watch him, uh, and I don't want to steal it, but he is a, a big guy that has no experience hiking, and he just starts off on the Pacific Coast Trail with not much knowledge, and it's just an incredible story to watch how he develops, how people come alongside to help him, and uh, yeah, there's some, definitely some highlights there for Second Chance Hiker. So I would recommend that. Uh, another one I've been watching is Darwin on the trail, I think his name is. And just started getting tips, watching, listening, hearing what they have to say as far as equipment. And, you know, I'm, I'm never, well, let me just never say never. The possibility of me being a through hiker, like to ever do, one of the big three here in America as far as Pacific Coast, Coast Trail, the Continental Divide Trail, or the Appalachian Trail. It's probably not gonna happen. I am hoping to, as I only live uh, a little ways from the Pacific Coast Trail, about an hour and a half actually, um, I'd like to do maybe a section of that here in Oregon. Um, and so that, that's a real possibility, but uh, that's kind of the story behind why I'm even out here and starting to do this even more. Uh, again, today's not a huge hike in comparison to others. Um, I'm going to do about eight miles total, like I said. So, But for me, that's, that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> well, as you can see, vegetation has changed again from sagebrush and junipers to here we are in the timber and uh, got some lodge pole here ponderosa evergreens of all types so it's cooler in the shade so that's nice and uh, gotta love my little bit of hair left <laughs> blowing in the wind but uh having fun
took me two hours, but as you can see, made it to my destination, Skunk Hollow, here on the uh, Wynema Fremont Trail. Most of us, I think, that live close by, we just call it the Shewakan Trail, um, but have gone four miles in two hours, which is I think pretty good for a novice like me. So I'm gonna rest here for a little while. I'm gonna run my feet a little bit, <laughs> uh, drink something, eat a little snack, uh, rest a little bit, and then we'll be headed back. So, but woohoo! I'm gonna do my eight miles today for sure because it's four miles back to my truck. So, <laughs> gotta make that happen. So, pretty excited. Well, Boondog and I, say hi Boone. Say hi Boone. That's Boone. Uh, Boone and I took about a uh, 30 minute to kind of rest here a little bit. Uh, but we're going to pack up and turn around. Head back the way we came. Uh, probably not going to film too much because you, know, you kind of all seen that already. But uh, yeah, it was a great hike. It's beautiful here. Actually, I could uh, easily uh, uh, pull up a log and go to sleep, so to speak. So, But uh, here again... This is uh, Skunk Hollow. Um, and like I mentioned before about Cat Canyon and figuring out why they called it Cat Canyon, um, I don't want to find out why they called it Skunk Hollow either. Um, not not only is the obvious about skunks, but I, from what I understand, not that I've ever encountered one, but uh, skunks are kind of a little ornery. Uh, they can uh, it can be a little, uh, little vicious. So, um, yeah, not wanting to see one of them either. So, yeah, going to hit the road. Um... I, I average, like I said, about two miles an hour, uh, which is actually, I thought, pretty good. Kind of thinking through, if I did an eight-hour hike, uh, I could do about 16 hours. Um, of course, as the day goes on, I might get tired and that, uh, you know. So I don't know if I could do full 16, but I thought, hey, eight, eight miles uh, for a novice like me, um, not not too bad. Actually, I'm pretty pretty surprised. Um, but uh, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll cut in. I'll cut back here uh, once I get back to the truck and say kind of a, a final farewell. Uh, but uh, thanks for joining me today on uh, this hike of the uh, Shewakan Trail or the, the Fremont Wynema uh, Trail here. Well, made it back. Here's the uh, trailhead and there's the crossing, Shewakan River. So uh, it was a great trip back, no worries, no problems. Uh, again, averaging easily, maybe even a little under two hours um, a mile. So pretty good. Thanks for hanging with me. Uh, God bless you all.